Hi everyone, it's Chenzo from Reality Art Pod, here to talk about the challenge All Stars 4 Episode 3 titled True Colors. Before I dive in, I put a link in the description to my playlist where you can catch my recap of the first two episodes. If you like the content, consider liking and subscribing. So let's dive into it. The episode begins with Tina beating her face and fully recapping the previous episode with full commentary. I am one step closer to becoming a challenge champ. They return to the house, celebrating Tina's win by default, as Lucky by Britney Spears scores her moment. Cam and Leroy get emotional watching videos of Kingston, and Cam is feeling motivated to give it her all, and worst thing that happens is she goes home to her kid. The next day, Rachel pet talks Ayana, and Ayana tells us that Rachel's workouts helped her with her weight loss journey, and that Rachel is a role model to her who she wants to protect in the game. Derek says that the house feels like Ayana pushed Janelle out of the game and has created a target on herself. Tony pulls Nicole to talk and tells her that he got an emergency call from his brother and that he has to leave the the show, this was really sad. So we have to say goodbye to Tony here who had his big comeback after a long hiatus. He doesn't end up doing too much on this season. He wins a daily challenge and doesn't go into any eliminations, so his appearance does help his overall stats. In his appearance, he was dedicated to giving us a lot of Tony time content, a real preview of what we should expect from him in the future. I do expect him to make a bigger comeback onto the main show. So being on here, he was able to brush up and catch up with people who I do think he would have had a good relationship with either way. But again, sad to see him go this way. After Tony's departure, Laurel comforts Nicole because Tony's her friend, and Laurel says, at least you still have Jay. Jay expresses that he has enough on his plate in the game already, and the Laurel and Nicole relationship is something else he has to deal with. Firstly, Jay, Diva, what do you have going on, and how really does this relationship that you're not in affect you at all? They head to their daily challenge, where TJ tells them there's a replacement for Tony in Cyrus, who's in great shape and joins the cast. TJ tells them their challenge will be called Domino Motherfucker. They'll be playing in pairs and have to connect dominoes along a path to a center point. One team will win and the last five pairs will be losers. Everyone else will be in the middle and this will be a double elimination. The challenge is a good mix of physical and mental with some teams going for speed and Cam and Ryan trying to figure out theirs at the starting line to avoid mistakes. Avery and Adam win the challenge, protecting Adam's star. Rachel and Brad get tied up because they went for speed over accuracy and Cam and Ryan become the last team to be safe. The bottom five teams, thereby eligible for elimination are Kifla and Tina, Cyrus and Ayana, Rachel and Brad, Derek and Veronica, and Flora and Leroy. Back at the house, talk is about Ayana, who told Cyrus at the challenge that she wants to break up Cam and Leroy because they'll always vote together. The show scraps together body cam footage and hot mic to prove this really happened. Cyrus also has a long-standing connection with Kifla, which could help them both out. They go to the club. At this point, Ayana's plans have gotten back to Cam, who's telling people about it. Laurel talks to Ayana, who's cuddled up in a full bed in a trailer at the club. Ayana opens up to Laurel and us about wanting the money to support her kids. Back at the house, Cam approaches Ayana, who tells her she's too exhausted to talk about it, but Cam is gently just asking about it and saying people told her what she said. Ayana goes from 0 to 100, saying she swears on all four of her kids that she didn't say it, and goes on a quest to find the people who told Cam this lie that's true. You show me the people. The people. Show, me the people. So the few show me the people who told you that. Show me the people, Cam. Why? Show me the people, Cam. Show me the people. You Why can't you show me the this? people. Are you one of the people? Are you one of the people? Brandon is the people, but he's keeping his mouth shut because he understandably doesn't want the smoke. Ayana then randomly brings Jasmine into it. I guess back at home, she was there for Jasmine in a bad time. This sets Jasmine off. Now you're gonna see the bride of Chucky. My They all separate and Rachel and Tina comfort Ayana, really being genuine friends to her. The next day, Leroy and Cam unpack everything from Cam being tired from pumping in the middle of the night to the issues with Ayana. Cam proposes sending Rachel into elimination with Ayana to send Ayana home. Kara and Rachel meet, with both of them agreeing to work together as star holders and not steal each other's stars. They move on to the nominations, where we quickly find out that Kifla and Cyrus pretty much volunteered to go into elimination. Cam is pushing hard for Rachel to go into elimination, and there are votes all over, but the one that really upsets Cam is Kara voting for Flora because she doesn't want Rachel to steal her star, which makes Cam feel like Kara was being selfish and not a good friend. In the end, Ayana and Rachel are voted in. Heading into elimination, they'll be playing down the two where there's a giant ball in a tube. They have to push the ball to get their partner out of the tube. The first to two points win, basically a more safe hall brawl. Avery and Adam decide they don't want to put themselves in. First up are Cyrus and Kifla, and Kifla quickly bodies Cyrus and gets the first point. In the second round, Cyrus wedges himself against the wall and freezes things up, which really just shows some poor 
challenge design, as there was no way for Cyrus to go from being squeezed against the wall to winning this round. So Kifla eventually gets the win, fakes a sprained ankle, and booty pops in the sand. And we have to say goodbye to Cyrus here, who didn't do much, had a free trip to Cape Town, got an opportunity to be on the show, which is positive, and he got unlucky with all the people he had connections with being in the bottom with him in this challenge. I also feel for him because he's obviously in great shape, and when he was going against Kifla, someone made a comment like, ooh, you shouldn't have lost all that weight. Can we give this guy a fucking break? I'd love to see Cyrus back again. He's someone that just needs a win, even if it's a small win. Then it's time for the main event in Rachel vs Ayana, with Ayana giving a strong push in the beginning, but Rachel centers herself. Eventually, Ayana tries to wedge herself in the side strategy, which is a terrible strategy and allows Rachel to just launch the ball past her and out of the tube, giving Rachel the first point. In round two, Ayana channels her kids, chanting their names, but it's eventually pushed out by Rachel, and then they hug it out. We lose Ayana here, who says she's found some purpose being there with her friends. I love Ayana as a TV character. You can count on her to get into the most petty argument with people whether it's about hair braiding or greek salad or even just randomly lying all the time even as going as far as swearing on her kids she whips the other players into a tizzy in a way that's really fun to watch because it's never below the belt we need more agitators like ayana on every show i saw someone on twitter say how could she act like this if she's a teacher it's very obvious to me she wants to be a reality tv person that's the reason these people got on the show in the first place and there's nothing wrong with that having not changed over time definitely bring her back put her on the main show as long as she's feeding me i'm eating i don't even use a fork Keepla and Rachel get to steal stars, Keepla steals Brad's star, and Rachel decides to steal a star from Tina and give it to Veronica, avoiding stealing from Kara. Tina comically overreacts. No! Who did she take? Is that <laughs> Cam says Rachel is playing a scared game that will bite her in the ass, but I really think Rachel was playing the smart long game here. These stars are all going to get stolen over time. There's no point in breaking the truce and pissing off Kara, at least not this early. That's all I have to say about this episode. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the episode. I love reading people's commentary and predictions. I respond to all of them. If you want to watch these episodes, I put a link in the description where you can try Paramount Plus for free and they're on there. I'll be back next Wednesday with more challenge. Until then, have a nice weekend. Bye!